What's up guys, Billy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at an accessory for the Phantom 4 series that I'm very stoked to check out. Now usually when I'm flying around with my drone, I'm either just flying for fun, or I'm taking videos and pictures, which is really what the Phantom series was built around. Uh, but another question I've always wondered, and it's been in the back of my mind, is can I lift an object with it? And I know a lot of other people are wondering this, as I've seen it on forums and YouTube videos, comments, I mean really everywhere, and hopefully the accessory that I have today will allow us to do that. This is the airdrop release system from FlyFly Fly that allows you to not only carry items with your drone, but also drop them with the push of a button. Inside of the box, we get the release system itself, a remote to release whatever you're carrying, a bracket system for mounting, a micro USB cable for charging, and a small bag to hold everything during storage or travel. The mounting system is quite simple. First, we need to attach the bracket to the back of the drone. It reminds me of the gimbal guard included by DJI. After we mount the bracket, we can slide the payload release system into its dedicated spot. To turn on both the device and the remote, simply push the button and then push again while holding until all of the LEDs are lit just like you would with a DJI product. I have to say that this does an excellent job at resembling the looks of the Phantom 4 Pro with the glossy white finish and the bright green LEDs. One concern that I have before even testing this out is how loose the bracket is. This definitely could pose a problem when carrying heavier objects, but I can't imagine that you'll be lifting anything massive with your Phantom 4 drone. Now that we've taken a look at everything that comes inside of the box, as well as examined some of the different pieces, let's head outside and get to the fun part. Alright, so I'm here at one of my favorite places to shoot. Uh, usually whenever you see some of my test videos, like ND filters, accessories, and all that stuff, I usually come here, I've got a nice open space to work with, also a lot of room to fly back there. Another good thing is there's really nobody that comes to this walking trail. I don't know why, it's really cool walking back there. Uh, but the one bad thing is that there is a road behind you, so if you hear some cars, I'm sorry about that, but I do have the microphone pointed towards me. Now as far as the tests that we are going to be doing in this video, I've got a couple of things that I'm going to hang from the drone as well as drop from the drone. Uh, so the first thing that I have is this little one pound dumbbell and I've put some uh, little fishing wire on there, some fishing string, and I've put a loop at the end to put on the actual device itself, the payload release system. Uh, so it's going to suspend from there and we'll see if it can hold one pound. And then after that, we're going to be trying a three pound weight. Uh, and then finally, I'm not going to be dropping those, uh, but I am going to be dropping this water bottle as it just seems a little bit more safe to be dropping something that's not as heavy. Uh, so I'm going to go up to about 50 feet when I drop the water bottle, but when we start doing the weight tests, like with the one pound and three pound weight, I'm only going to hover a little bit up in the air, probably around like 10 feet to see if it can actually lift that weight. Another thing that I want to mention is the length of the string. I made it really long, and the reason that I did that is so that I can take off, I can have the drone hover at around four feet, and then from there, lift whatever I've got attached to the string. I feel like that was just the best way of doing it. Uh, if I had a really short string, I feel like the propellers up top might have given it a hard time. I'm not really sure. I just think that it would be better to go with a longer string rather than a shorter string. Okay, so starting with test number one, again, this is going to be the one pound pink dumbbell, and we're going to see how the drone reacts lifting this much weight. Alright, so there's test number one. It seemed that it did pretty good. It lifted up fairly easily. The motors did spin a little bit more and made that louder noise as you heard, but that is to be expected as you are going to be lifting some sort of payload. Another thing that I want to mention is that it did well keeping its position. I figured that because the payload was more towards the back, it may throw it off balance, but it seemed that it stayed very still and didn't drift around a lot. Uh, so let's move on to the next test, which is going to be the three pound dumbbell. I've got to say that I really didn't expect the one pound dumbbell to work so well. Moving up to a three pound is scaring me a little bit, uh, but let's see if this works.
So three pounds works, as you guys just saw. I noticed the motors were really, really loud when I was moving upwards. Uh, again, it was a lot louder than just the one pound dumbbell, but three pounds does work. If you guys saw right there, I kind of had to catch the drone rather than land it. For some reason, the bracket slid underneath of the camera. I'd said in the beginning of this video that the loose bracket was going to pose some sort of problem, and right there you saw it kind of slid underneath of the drone, which is definitely not something good. But again, three pounds does work. So now let's move on to the water bottle and see if we can drop this thing. All right, test number three, the drop test. I've got the water bottle hooked up via that fish string again or the fishing line. I've got the remote and I'm gonna drop it from about 50 feet. So let's see what happens. All right, so it worked, again, 50 feet with a water bottle. It was less weight than the one pound weight, so I knew it would actually lift. But again, I wasn't sure the exact range on this thing. I was told it has seven kilometers of range, but then on the box it said it had a half a mile of range. So again, I'm not really sure what the range is on this actual remote here, uh, but let me get cleaned up here and we'll go over a couple of things for the end of this video. There are two things that I want to go over. The first thing being how the drone actually performed. I want to give some of my thoughts on that. And then I'll give my final verdict on the product itself and talk about the good, the bad, all that stuff. Uh, so first of all, going over the problems I have with the drone and its performance. I've got to say, I didn't even expect it to lift the one pound weight. So lifting three pounds was, I guess, over exceeding my expectations. Now there are two problems, again, that I see with lifting things. The first thing being the motors. They could wear out a lot sooner as, or a lot quicker, I guess I should say as the Phantom wasn't made to be lifting things and obviously spinning faster could put a lot more stress on the motors themselves. Uh, so again, that's just something to look out for. Another thing is that the actual battery life may be decreased just because of how fast the motors are spinning. You're obviously pushing the drone a lot harder and this could lead to shorter battery life. I didn't see anything from the drone's perspective, but again, if you are flying for long periods of time, carrying things, uh, you know, picking things up, putting them down, you definitely will see a lot less battery time when flying around. Around. Uh, now getting into the product itself, I've got to say that it's just a little flimsy piece of, pla of plastic, but honestly that's probably what's best for this. I noticed that it didn't add a lot of weight to the drone itself, and when I had just the actual attachment on the back or just the payload release system, it seemed to be flying just perfectly. So I think that a cheap piece of plastic is actually the best, I guess, thing to have in this position. If you have something that's a little bit more rugged and a little bit heavier, it may be tougher to fly around. Uh, but I've got to say that overall, the build quality is good, the finish matches the drone, uh, and also the LEDs are a nice touch. So if you guys are looking to get this product, I'll throw the link down in the description. Uh, it's on Amazon. I think that there may be some other payload release systems out there, but this is the one that I've tried. I would probably recommend it to anyone who's looking to lift light objects like water bottles. I think it's kind of like a cool gag where if you want to deliver a water bottle to someone all the way over there, you could and you could drop it off. Uh, so again, guys, that about wraps up this video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new around here as I have been trying to upload daily. Also, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this product itself. I think it's pretty cool. Is it a gimmick? Maybe. I'm not going to be using it all the time, but I think that it will come in handy if I ever want to, again, pull a little gag or a little prank or something like that by delivering something very light to someone. Uh, but guys, anyway, as I said, this video is coming to an end, and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.